Okay, here we have the uh, completed project with the venting. And so what we experienced is as the water came down in here and filled from the bottom, the air inside the tank that was trapped because it's capped uh, before we put the venting on uh, wouldn't allow the water in. It's sort of like if you take a glass, put it upside down and, and try to and fill up a sink of water and try to, you know, fill the glass up with water. There's nowhere for the air to go so the water can't come in. So we've got a couple solutions. Um, this solution here I think is my favorite. So what I've done here is I have gone in and drilled a hole in the bung. I'll show you that close up here. And uh, put in a one inch PVC. And then what I did is I uh, cut out, measured everything and lined everything up screwed it in as I mentioned before and I added this uh, oh there's Mr. Lizard there <laughs> I added this PVC here and that way I knew everything was lined up straight to the back uh, before I glued everything and then I uh, of course made my curves, uh, my, my corners came up went uh, just, just out of a guess and no particular reason I went up one foot high I uh, came into an elbow, and I, I don't know if you can see inside there, but there is some um, uh, window screen right there to help keep the bugs out. And what I did for the window screen is that my wife has these uh, window screens over the, her garden to keep the bugs out. And there was a corner over here uh, inside. You can't really see it that well, but it's inside here. It's folded over, and I just cut a corner out. So when I filled it. I actually got some um, a little burp of water that came out all the way, went a foot high, and and just kind of just just a little bit, a few drops, but um, it it worked out really well. Now, if you notice, I've got some two by fours in here, and I've measured them so they go across to, all the way to the ends of the bar to uh, keep the pressure off of the one inch PVC that's in the center. I think that's really important. I've seen some others on YouTube where there was no bracing and um, the gentleman mentioned that he had a leaking problem. I think it was because there was so much pressure on this joint here and he had a different little, a little bit different setup. I think he, had, he was using two inch but there's so much pressure. Here uh, there is no pressure on there. These the, the uh, two by fours is exactly the right height to keep the pressure off the one inch pipe. So this is uh, solution number one. Uh, I really do like it. Uh, the reason why I like it because the only thing I had to drill a hole in was the bung. And if it didn't work, then all I would do is just get another bung. Okay, so what I did to uh, create an air vent is I took the uh, bung out of the center of the top cap on the lower tote and I drilled with a regular paddle drill bit a one and a quarter inch hole which perfectly fit this one inch uh, PVC fitting. Um, this is an elbow. It's a threaded elbow. And then what I did is I simply th uh, screwed the elbow into the uh, bung and uh, assembled all the parts. I didn't uh, glue everything together, I just wanted to try it out first. When I saw that it worked very well, then I uh, put uh, the silicone the cock that I showed you in a previous video, and I um, put, uh, completely filled up this area with silicone, and I'm letting it set. This is actually pretty good. I'm going to let it set for 24 hours here, and then uh, tomorrow morning, I'm going to uh, reassemble everything and, um, and glue it all together and, and see if it's uh, airtight, watertight. But uh, one thing I would recommend is that you uh, put everything together, uh, screw screw the, the the lid on, screw the bung in, screw the uh, elbow in, and then. Once you get everything and then you can adjust it a little bit. And once you get everything aligned, then mark it somehow. So when you take it apart and you put silicone in every everywhere, that you can get it lined back up how you want it. 
Now I have mine, uh, as you'll see, in, uh, facing to the back because I'm that's where I'm moving, the, setting the tube out. So I just put everything on there, get everything aligned, unscrewed this as an entire unit, marked it where I wanted it, and then came back and put silicone in here to make it uh, watertight. It says it's uh, you can use it in water within three hours, but um, I'm going to be safe because it, it also says you should leave it for 24 hours. And I just want to make sure that uh, this is as a nice solid seal. So I'm just letting it sit out here in the sun today, and then tomorrow I'll put it back on. The next solution, actually you might e even like better, because we eliminate all of this piping here. I mean, we're, it's, it's quite amazing. And we don't have a vent pipe coming out, so that's one less pipe there. And it's, uh, it's a closed system, so I don't have to worry about uh, putting up a screen here for bugs to get in. Let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, here's another very clean, albeit somewhat riskier, uh, option. Now, this is, uh, I, uh, this is the best looking option I've seen. And what we've done is, it's, is uh, I took a two and three eighths inch um, bit it's you know like what you'd use to cut a hole in a hole for a doorknob, uh, and then I uh, got some. I went down to Ace Hardware, got some. Uh, what is this? A gasket or washer or something like that. Then put this together. I'll show you the details here. Put this together, and so it fills from the top, and uh, comes out the bottom. Works perfectly, and there's no ad additional vent holes I need or anything like that. It's just a really clean setup. Uh, the uh, the problem I have is I really really hate drilling holes into things because of a possible leak problem. But anyway, uh, I did it and it worked fabulously well. So very simple solution. Uh, what I did have to do is I, ha I get, had to get a pipe wrench and reach inside and uh, had to come f from the from the middle from the. I had laid this had laid this down on its face. So with this pointing down and reach inside through the through the hole here of course it was all empty reach my arm down inside with the pliers and tighten things down in here now I'll show you exactly how that works um, but it worked great on first try no problems um, and then uh, it's the that's it that's all the piping you need uh, to connect those two systems together now on the other side I do have four here so I've got uh, over a, a thousand gallons of water sitting here. Um, this one here, I had a problem with, and it's leak. It's leaking. Just, I mean, you can, if you wipe it, and, and there's a little bit of water that comes back, then you can see that it's leaking. So that's that's going to be an issue. And what I've decided to do is just let it. Uh, you know, I'll be using the water, so I, I'm not going to fill it back up. And when it gets down, then I'll uh, just. Uh, uh, fix that problem. So one worked perfectly, the other one has a leaking problem. So that's uh, one reason why I like the other s system is because I'm not putting any holes into the plastic uh, tank, um, just into the bung. But if uh, if you like the solution, it works really well. It uh, worked great on the other one. Um, and it's very simple, very inexpensive to do. If you notice, I've got four totes here, but I don't have them connected in any way. The reason is because I didn't want um, a problem if I get a leak in one. You know, if I if, if I get a leak in one and they were all four connected and, and the leak was here on the bottom one, then I would basically I'd be draining all of my water from all four of these totes because water seeks the lowest uh, point and um, I'd lose all that water. So just as a safety precaution, I just kept the two together. And uh, when I get the rain gutter system in, and uh, I'll just have it uh, Y out to both and fill both at the same time. So let's uh, show you some details of all the components that I used to make this uh, work here. Okay, so these are the uh, elements I needed to make the uh, very simple, very clean connection between the two, the one where I drilled the, the hole. Um, these are the gaskets I picked up at Ace Hardware. They didn't have two inch gaskets, so I bought an inch and a half. I could have cut this out, uh, but I know my 
skills and cutting in you know, nice clean circles isn't that good, so I didn't. So I'll show you how I assembled those. Okay, so I've just stretched uh, the gasket uh, around the two-inch pipe. Uh, I just pulled the, the gasket like you would, you know, when you want to blow up a balloon, you kind of stretch it or you want to stretch a rubber band out. So I just kind of worked a little bit and then slid it over the threads. I've done the same here uh, on this one that goes on the inside of the tote. And so what happens is when I, when I put these two together, let me see if I can do this, uh, inside the tote, as I screw these two together, what I, what I did, and of course I had um, Teflon tape in here, what I did is once I or got it like something like that, then I just reached in and I slid this over the edge, just like that, inside the tote. And then as I screwed them together, they, I don't know if I can uh, do this, I think you get, get the idea. As so I screwed them together, then they created a seal from the inside and from the outside. So one of them worked really great, the other one has this very small leak in it. And when I say small, I mean really small. So um, if you're looking for a nice simple solution, that's, uh, you might want to consider that. Uh, you may want, if you're better at uh, cutting than I am, you may want to make this one and a half inch into uh, two inch. That way, if you did, it would, it would lay down flat and uh, may, may provide a better seal. But anyway, uh, that's what I, how I created the, uh, the, um, the second option. Well, I hope this uh, video series on rainwater retention has been helpful to you. We've still got one more video to do, and that is uh, when we, we actually get the gutters in the house, and we come down and we build out the first flush system to get rid of all the bird poop and the gravel and the dirt and whatever may be up on the roof that comes down. So we have that filtered out, uh, per se, before it goes into the tank. So that'll be the next one. Uh, that'll be after I get my rain gutter guy over here, which should be next week. But until then, uh, hopefully you uh, see a couple different options on how to store water and how to get your tanks vented so that uh, you won't have any problems filling them or getting the water out. This is LDS Prepper out.